away to a free campsite, free camping area. It's not far off of Cascades Highway, Washington Route 20. What's the name of the town? Huh? Hamilton. Hamilton. It's near Hamilton, Washington. And uh, if you have a Discover Pass, Washington State Discover Pass, it's free camping. State Forest. Your destination is on the left. We've arrived at the Les Hildy Trailhead. It's part of the Harry Osborne State Forest. And you can camp here for free with a Washington State Discover Pass. And this is a equestrian staging area. It looks like we just had a couple horse trailers pull in. The free camping area here at the Les Hildy Trailhead is uh, fairly large. Let me give you a walking tour. So off to the left you'll see a pavilion and then beyond that is my, where my truck is parked is a large um, parking area for horse trailers and trucks. Uh, I'll take you back to this day use uh, area in a minute. There's also camping across the street. We'll take a closer look at that in, a, in just a minute. But right now, I'm going to walk you across the street here. It does say this is a recreation fee area. You can camp here for free, but you must have the Washington State Discover Pass. Let me show you around. And you see a fire ring and you have a, uh, a post over there where that RV is parked. All this is camping area in here. Plenty of space to maneuver uh, a big rig. I can get my fifth wheel in here, no problem. It was a paved highway, big rig, accessible all the way from Washington State Route 20 North Cascades Highway. Um, and then on the other side, uh, you also have parking over there for camping. Again, we have fire rings. All the way down through here, and if you do have a horse, I assume those posts there are so you can uh, tie your horses off. So if you decide to camp here, know that you, you may have uh, horses in the same area where you're camping. This fella here um, has a generator going. You can probably hear that in the background. But uh, there's camping spaces all the way up through here. I walk back in here for a better vantage point. Um, but yeah, any size rig can get into this camping area. And then further down across from one of the day use areas, you see a travel trailer down there in a tent. I'm going to walk you down there and we're going to check that camping area out. And there's yet a third camping area. This is Medford Road. Actually, the paved road is Medford Road. That's the road that Melody and I came out in order to get here, in order to access the this free camping area. You 
you have a vault toilet over here. There's two of them. And on this side of the road, you do have space to camp. Somebody's got a tent set up. Their travel trailer. And the day use facility is marked no camping in there. There's the ball toilet. And the sign posted here at the Les Hildy Trailhead says campers limit your stay to seven days in any 30 day period. And as you can see, they have this posted no camping beyond this point, and that's uh, you know designating the the day use area. But back on the uh, other side of the road, we have a fairly deep camping area. Again, you can back any size rig in there, and you can see a fire ring off on the end there. So here's a little bit better look, different perspective of that last camping area that I showed you. And uh, over here they have a manure bin. It does not smell. I'm standing right by it. It does not smell. And this uh, parking area is marked for horse trailers and trucks only. That's where my truck is parked. You got a couple horse trailers in there. Day use area. And somebody's camp back up in here. Let's see how they have this posted back in here. Well, there's a couple different placards back in here. Let me, uh, let's see what this says back in here. Okay, now entering private property. These trails to be used for horseback riding and hiking only. Enter at your own risk. No motorized vehicles. Thank you, cowboy campsite. And then over on this side, just up from where that SUV was camped, or is camped, it says, this trail is open to horseback riding and hiking, closed to all other uses. And then the trail goes back in here, I presume back into the state forest. Okay, with some final thoughts on the Les Hildy Trailhead here at the Harry Osborne State Forest. Um, just spent about 10 minutes talking to these, uh, the people who pulled in with the horse trailers. Boy, those horses are gorgeous. They didn't want to be on film, so I stepped back to give you this uh, extra information. Um, they were really concerned about, you know, the word getting out about this free camp. Uh, free camping area. Um, great country folk, they come out with their horses. They have seen a pickup in the activity here, the people coming here without horses to camp. And uh, while it hasn't, you know, prevented them from bringing their horses in and getting out here, um, they have noticed uh, an increase in the amount of trash they see in the, the area in and around the campground. So I'll, I'll, I'll say um, that, you know, if you come out here to camp, you got to be respectful. Other people use this area. And um, Melody and I generally, when we camp at any campsite, let alone a free campsite, we leave the campsite in better shape than when we found it. You know, we find trash, we pick it up and remove it. Um, I would hope that uh, if you come out, to the Les Hildy Trailhead to uh, enjoy the free camping if you have the Discover Pass, um, that you do the same. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. I'll also have the grid coordinates for this free camping location in the written video description as well. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.